Welcome back, comrades. This is Gaming with Austin. Today, we're going towards episode 140 of the Utopian Community Series. I discovered that the one thing on the news right now, based on both Loudwire and CNN, the guitarist for Cannibal Corpse might face up to life in prison, life behind bars. Possibly without parole. Which means Cannibal Corpse needs a new guitarist. If they don't have someone to volunteer, one thing they can do, one lead singer can play of a uh, rock band can play the guitar too. An example of greed. The problem with capitalism is it ultimately breeds slavery. What Amazon was doing it, I would consider that wage slavery. Well, you know, Slayer is on their finale, t uh, their final tour, which means one of the members can take the place of Patrick O'Brien. It's one of the few poss the many possibilities. Would be worse. Pat O'Brien was charged with terrorism. And the band, the entirety would be, pun uh, there'd be collective punishment. Some people are imprisoned w for long periods without trial. What sucks about American political systems is that America, even though America, capitalism is fueling political repression in America. Like, sometimes prisoners are, are detained without for long periods without trial, and some even die before while awaiting their trial. Some of them end up dying while awaiting trial. Mm. One of the uh, former assistant principals of a South Carolina school might probably end up getting sent to federal prison.
And American capitalism is de literally destroying the world. To where eventually capitalism ultimately le leads to global poverty and global warming. There are some famous musicians that are anarchists. One of those musicians was Lemmy. From um, the lead singer of Motorhead. If Cannibal Corpse ends up getting a new singer, if Corpse Grinder retires, I'd be a great lead singer. Because my growls can get really deep. I wish I had your angel for one moment of love. I wish I had your angel tonight. $200,000 a year, I see it as overkill, literally. Y you don't... <laughs> Outside of death metal, Cannibal Corpse... His frontman, Corpse Grinder, p mm, tends to go to Disney World with his family. It's pretty fun. Uh, what I uh, talk about in my commentary is usually related to both communism and heavy metal. How they go together quite well. The good part about moving out and going to another city The good part about moving to another city is you'll go to places you've never gone before. Whenever you happen, was what's the biggest part of your paycheck cut as a smoker when you do smoke? A lot of it's related to loss of productivity. The biggest factor is actually loss of productivity. Has a lot of re uh, respect 
to the working class of the United Kingdom. The working class... Heavy Metal has a lot of working class roots. Mmm. Till we reach the end The Nazis, the economy that the Nazis had in Nazi Germany was a command economy. economy system like Stalinist Russia, where the economy was completely controlled by Stalin himself, or Hitler, under the National Socialist Workers' Party of Germany. Like the National Socialist Workers' Party. And I do oppose Stalinism, which is Stalin's interpretation of communism. Why I oppose Stalinism? One of the reasons is that Stalin was an anti-Semitic jerk. One of the co one of the causes of the power struggle in between Stalin and Trotsky was anti-Semitism. Anti-Semitism was the main cause of the power struggle. He was an, uh, Stalin was an anti-Semitic jerk. is to fix our political system. Because some of the rich people are corrupting our system. Because <clears throat> what helped the rich people go to the top 1%? Inheritance from their ancestors who owned slaves helped pay.
paved the way for modern day capitalism. Slavery has a lot in common with capitalism. In fact, slavery may be one of the aspects of capitalism. And racism is another one. Capitalism is what's literally fueling racism around the world. It's also feeling electoral fraud. What we need to do is impose new laws like incre we need to increase the minimum wage, keep the prices the same, and cut down salaries for the CEOs. That's what we need. That is what we need. And stop the spread of slavery. The true cause of poverty What's going to make the housing crisis worse around the world? Climate change. Climate change will cause the electric bill to go sky high. How generator works. You have a copper coil. You want to power a light bulb. It can't be powered unless you do work on it to keep, you have to do work to keep the bulb lit. There is no perpetual motion machine that will ever do that. As it violates the first, second, and probably the third law of thermodynamics. Which ex probably explains why electricity is not free. Electricity requires work. Another thing that is important, like, another news report states that Hillenburg's ashes are to be scattered across 500 yards of the Pacific Ocean. Five hundred yards of the Pacific, o like, of the uh, coastline, of the coast of California. Mm. Like, if you want to make vegan biscuits and gravy. Don't ever rely on meat juices, because that is not vegan. Instead, go for vegetable broth. To give the veggie broth texture, add a little bit of cornstarch.
When it goes to food, it's best if you take only what you need. Just take what you need. With cardboard boxes, you don't have to throw them away. You don't have to throw them away. In fact, you'd be better off repurposing them into something else like card boxes. Where you can hold your Pokemon, Yu-Gi-Oh! or Magic the Gathering cards. We need America capitalism it undermines our democracy. In order for it to be a true democracy, the means of production also has to be democratically controlled. <laughs> Which means the means of production are socialist. Like Eventually, everybody, like, in my theory of communism, the first stage towards, like, within the dictatorship of the proletariat, the first stage of it would be social democracy. First stage is social democracy. One aspect of capitalism that is almost always true is there is a black market. I see capitalism in a gray area. A lot of wealthy people tend to abuse the system. If it's done correctly, people are not as greedy. If it's done correctly. There are people, one specific form of greed is absolute power. With the intentional community in Minecraft, 
which is what it actually is. Intentional communities are literally like small-scale states that, are, that have achieved true communism. The only way for, um, for a country to achieve true communism is if the model of government is democracy. Hmm. I'm in favor of bringing forth direct democracy. What if we have man and machine work together? When a company it gathers so much profit, another critique I have against capitalism is that in the capitalistic society like America, like when a company starts increasing their profits, the more competition there is, the lower the value of the dollar will become there's more competition. Competition drives the value of the dollar down. Especially between larger businesses. One thing I'm going to do to help get Trump out of office is I might think about becoming a shareholder. Of the Trump Organization. critique I have against capitalism is that when there's so much competition the value of the dollar will drop
when there's too much competition, prices, the value of the dollar goes up dangerously high. Well, like, no. The value of the dollar goes down dangerously high. But in the socialist, like, where there's no competition, but there's still economic planning, the value of the dollar goes up by a long shot. Vladimir Lenin's Russia was an oligarchy, but Stalin's Russia The motive behind Stalin's power struggle between Stalin and Trotsky a lot of it has to do with racism. In a truly socialist country, achieve true communism without everybody going vegan. Or at least the vast majority of us going vegan. Mm. Or going towards clean meat. Grown in a lab. Like, how they gather the, the, cell, um, the DNA for the, the cells of the animal scavenging is the most humane option. And a group of veterinarians could do the job too. Because back in the old days of getting meat, you had to kill animals. We still do today, which is pretty sad. Capitalism led to some. Uh, um, capitalism. Ideologically, it isn't ethically sp disputed. One. Same thing with using capital punishment. The problem with capitalism, which is why I go against capitalism, is the amount of suffering it ultimately will cause. It's not just housing unaffordability. Global warming is another thing that is caused by climate. Uh, is another thing that is caused by capitalism. That is directly uh, driving. And global warming is going to drive food prices up around the world. We have to do something about it. What's going to help drive down global warming? Reduce our dependency on meat. For starters, cut our dependency Reduce our meat dependency. Just reduce your meat dependency. Best thing to do is go vegetarian. Because meat is really bad for the environment.
we should reduce our dependency on meat if we want to fight global warming. If we want to fight global warming and capitalism, we should cut down on meat consumption. If we want to fight capital, if you want to, if you want to get rid of poverty in America and the rest of the world, you shouldn't go for capitalism. Sometimes capitalists t literally will make a killing. They make money killing people. Like those big drug companies that monopolize on everything. If you want to end poverty around the world, don't go for capitalism. Nor should you go for nationalism. Nor should you ever go for nationalism. I'm just reorganizing my farm. If you want to fight poverty, you need to fight capitalism. You can't have rich people. The truth about why capitalism is not good is that in order to have rich people, you also have to have poor people too. Which is pretty bad. Capitalism should be abolished in its entirety. You should never reward Nazis for their behavior. Because that is just wrong. Capital punishment... It's also pretty wrong. Why criticize religion? One, the commandment of thou shalt not kill, it only applies to law-abiding citizens. It should apply to everybody.
There's already enough food to feed the world population, but the problem is unfair distribution techniques. Capitalism is what destroys fairness. We need to make it fair for everybody. Not just to help, um, not just... I just want to make it fair for everybody. Five, six, seven. Some U.S. Patriots are critical of We need is a direct democracy. One thing a lot of dictators have in common is that they're very greedy. But not just in the sense of wealth, they're also power hungry too. Power hungry megalomaniacs. Anyways, this is it for this video. Don't forget to leave a like if you liked this video. Dislike if you disliked it. Subscribe to this channel for more. As always, thank you for watching. Stay tuned for more. And peace out.